Hello people of the internet, what's going on? I am the Matty Boy 2 welcome back to another video. Yes, I am back, finally. I believe it's been about three weeks. Um, there's been a lot going on in that time. Um, but I am back now. I've got exams for the next two weeks, but I will do my best to begin uploading consistently once again. Uh, and yeah, the videos will hopefully be coming thick and fast with Team of the Year coming out soon. Today I am bringing you a video on the best cheap beast I have found so far this year. To start with it was Kevin Gamero, and you guys know how much I loved him, but I have found someone who is better than him, and let me tell you, he is unbeatable. Even in the weekend league, Div 1, Div 2, you cannot stop him. And that guy is in form, Irving, I believe I'm pronouncing that right, Lozano. Uh, recently transferred to PSV, he was rumoured to be joining United, but he has managed to get himself an inform, and let me tell you, this guy is insane. You can see just by looking at his stats, how clinical, fast, nimble he is going to be. High medium work rate is perfect for a striker. 4 star, 4 star, ideally would have 5 star of each, but 4 star is almost just as good. 5'9", so he's not the tallest, but he's not short either. And then look at those in-game stats they are incredible i have put a marksman card on there just to improve the shooting a little bit make him a little bit more nimble because his dribbling the agility really boosts it up it, i think if the agility was similar to the other stats he'd have around 80 dribbling uh, great stamina but his strength is on the low side so again the marksman will boost that and i'm now going to show you the team that i have been using him in and let me tell you, it is an absolutely insane team. Starting off in net, we do go with David De Gea, who I actually packed from the goal upgrade SBC. He is unbelievable. By far the best keeper I have used in this game. 6'4", so he's really tall. Acrobatic save technique. Uh, I believe he's got the giant throw, uh, which comes in really useful, especially when starting counter-attacks from corners. Um, really, really just a great keeper to have. At right back, I have gone with Cancelo. Uh, I was using cars up, but I decided to buy this guy, try him out. And he's not bad, let me tell you. Incredible pace. Uh, everything else is sort of average, but put, put, put a sentinel on there. And he becomes an absolute monster. Uh, six foot, so he's tall, especially for a fullback. Three star, three star, not the best. But he does everything that you want a right back to do. And he does it well. So, uh, yeah. Very happy with Cancelo. The two centre-backs we then go with are Costas, Manolas and Marcus Rojo. I was using Eric Bailly, but I sold him because, in my opinion, to be honest, Marcus Rojo is just as good. Obviously, he's not as tall uh, or fast. No, I believe he's the same height, actually. He's just not as fast. Medium-high work rate's the same as Bailly. Uh, Two-star weak foot, not the best. But with an anchor card, he becomes unreal. Uh... I think without that, he's just he's a sweaty card anyway. But the anchor makes him both sweaty and just a class defender, which is exactly what you want. And then Costas Manolas. You guys know how insane he is. Again, six foot two, low high work rates. Two star weak foot again, which is a shame. Only 5.7k for that card though. Again, with an anchor, he is unreal. And from corners, he's incredible. I don't know what it is about his headers. But I've used him a couple of times on this game, uh, sold him and then rebought him. And he always seems to to score from corners, and I don't know what it is. At left back, we then go with Inform Ashley Young. A very, very underrated card this year, I feel like. Only medium, medium work rates, but he's so well-rounded. I've put an anchor on there just to boost that pace, the defending and the physical. None of which are great for a fullback. But everything else is incredible. His crossing is brilliant. Uh, his shooting... Even his long shots, uh, 78 rated there, his long shots apparently, but they feel so much better than that. And he, ju he just, he's a really fun card to use, is the best way to describe him. Really, really is, and I feel so confident with him whenever he's on the ball. Central centre mid, we have gone with Daniela De Rossi, with Kevin Strootman on the right, and Ander Herrera on the left. Ideally, it would be like that, and then uh, Nangolan there instead of De Rossi. However, I can't afford that right now because Nangolan is ridiculously expensive. And De Rossi does the job anyway. Um, a really, really well-rounded card. Every year he seems to have a great card. Medium-high work rates, four-star weak foot. 
I put an engine card on there just because, in my opinion, his defending and physical are already high enough. Uh, and I just wanted to increase the speed of the card so it didn't feel as uh, slow and clunky, if that makes any sense. And then we go with Kevin Strootman. Again, a really, really well-rounded card. High, high work rates. Uh, I have put an engine on there. Same reason as I put one on De Rossi. Um, but a really, really well-rounded card. And he just feels consistent every game. He, uh, he performs well. And then Ander Herrera. He has gone down in price since I bought him, but he's great. Again, high, high work rates. Left a basic on him just because he is so well-rounded already. I mean, look at that. That's just great. Um, Four-star weak foot. Perfect. And most of the play goes through him, to be honest. Him and the cam, who uh, you will see right now. Now, for those of you who uh, are wondering how I'm going to link this all together and get full cam, then... Uh, there's a very simple way, and that is by using the Prime Rui Costa at Cam. I did unlock this guy for, I believe, about 300k, just under 300k. Uh, four star, four star, medium, medium. Uh, and yeah, he's just, he's incredible. Look at those stats. I put a Hawk card on there just to improve the pace, even though he doesn't really need it. The physical, again, doesn't really need it, apart from the aggression and the shooting. I don't know what his long shots have actually gone up to with the, uh, with the Hawk Cam style. But every single long shot you take with this guy, it doesn't matter how far out he is. Every single long shot goes in. And it's incredible. Such a fun card to use. He can dribble past anyone. He'll make any pass you want him to. And he's just... He's, at the minute, my favourite player on this game. I've not used any other icons apart from the lone ones. But still, my favourite is, uh, is Rui Costa. And then the other striker we have gone with is uh, this... Lacadia, Lasadia. Uh, I did pack his inform actually, and I used him a little bit as a super sub. He wasn't the best, but I used him in the Del, not Del Piero, the uh, the Costa SBC, which I sort of regret now because I could have had the uh, double PSV inform Strike Force, uh, which would have been really fun to use actually. However, uh, I do bring him off and then bring Player of the Month Kane on. Uh, I couldn't afford the Mane SBC when it came out, but this Kane. Is the next best thing I think. He's incredible. High high work rates. Four star weak foot. His pace is a bit on the low side. And especially his balance and agility are. So I'll put an engine card on there. And it works so well. He feels rapid to be honest. I don't know what it is. Uh, but he does feel absolutely rapid. Uh, he feels quite nimble. And every single shot you take with this guy will go in. Especially long shots. They are so accurate. So anyway guys. There is the team. In terms of the, uh, the custom tactics I've been using. Here they are. Feel free to copy them if you want. Uh, they're working well. First time I've really used these ones, but they are working very well. Um, and then in terms of player instructions, the only thing I do is set De Rossi to stay back while attacking, uh, Costa to stay forward, and then both strikers to stay central, get in behind, and press the back line. Anyway, guys, as I said, apologies for the lack of uploads recently. I've had a lot going on. Uh, they will be more consistent from now on, hopefully. Let me know in the comment section down below what video you guys want to see. Um, and if you see a suggestion that you like, leave a like on the comment. And the suggestion with the most thumbs up, I will do as my next video. So, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you did enjoy the video. Let's see if we can smash 25 likes on this video, seeing as it is the first one in a while. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And thanks for watching. You guys are the best.